and I'm back for you guys. It's been long enough to the channel, yeah, because I'm quite busy. All right, so let me click on this plus sign and then new switch. I want to teach you guys the concept of shades hat. You know, on YouTube, all you see is someone just opened a YouTube channel and the nothing out to shade and all of that. You don't even have any background understanding of what shades art actually means. So I'm dedicating this tutorial video firstly to teach you how this shades art work works and what does it mean when we say shades art. You know, some people say art, some people say shades art and all of that. There are many different kind of art. We have vexels, we have vector, we have smudge, we have shades, we have 3D uh characters we have many many all right we even have traditional uh hat now i want to teach you guys the concept of shades hat you know i've been dropping smudge tutorials mostly on this uh youtube channel so now today i just decided to create a new channel you know now let me choose any tool of my choice uh okay i can decide to use even this my pencil all right, just let me use fountain pen and then I can resize and then the opacity should be 100. Okay, let me change the soft light prayer. Okay, it's right. Now, I can just decide to draw any shape, maybe my circle. All right, okay, click on check mark. I think, oh, it's not too small. All right, let me just increase the size and then I can redraw the shape. Okay, I think it's wonderful like this. Okay, so just let me use my transform tool. Okay, good. Now, the next thing that comes to your mind is how do I actually make this realistic now? Now, Imagine this is a picture you want to work on that you want to you want to uh, shade. All right, so this circle is representing this picture. I mean the picture. So don't worry, guys. There's still more tutorials coming. I just want to give you a background knowledge of what is coming and a background knowledge of what shades art means. All right. So now this background, I mean this layer here. All right. You know it's not the layer I draw on. Now, uh, how do we choose the kind of colors to use? Uh, okay, just let me choose popular colors. <clears throat> uh, you know, we always use for skin, or people always use for skin. All right, uh, let's see. I can just decide. I can use. Just let me use E33, and let's see if that will be satisfying. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm filling the circle. Remember, it's not on that layer where I drawn. All right, so the layer I'm putting this color on is below the sketch layer. Understood? So just let me fill this. All right, wonderful. Now, this is what we have done. We sketched and then we paint. Now, create a new layer. Just make sure this is your sketch layer is still on top. All right, now create a new layer on top of the color. Un understood. So now, after creating a new layer, the next problem is what kind of blend modes do you use? But some people have seen some people that they don't even use any blend modes for shades art, and that is where we have you know I discover my own ways and all of that. So we have different artists and we can't say for sure that this is the only way that is correct. In as much as you can get good results, then I tell you, your ways are good and and they are, they are being appreciated. All right. So now, I would love to put mine for the sake of this tutorial on multiply. Okay. So uh, I may not see the one I want to use as the shade. Uh, well... We have it in three years, but that's not satisfying enough for me. I can just come to the next. Oh, if your Autodesk sketchbook doesn't have Copic, just go to my uh, uh, 
telegram channel the link will be below this video all right click it and then you see an a, a autodesk sketchbook application that i pinned there's different versions of autodesk there but you will see the one i pinned that is the one i'm using right now and the moment you download it don't ever and ever update it good so now i don't find any color i want to use for now so i'll just you know make it a little bit dark i will give less power to the luminance all right just let me color pick this back and then i'll give less power to the luminance okay now the next thing i will do is to use my selection tool on this circle hope you are understanding me you see i'm a little bit slow okay click on this plus sign you know we are coming from okay choose this magic wand all right i think i've taught you guys on this youtube channel how to use this selection tool all right so click on that plus sign understood and then you click on this color good now move to this multiply i will go with that now i use this flow airbrush most of the time to sketch but some people can decide to use their soft airbrush or hard airbrush you can just decide to edit it any how you want all right and sometimes actually i use this hairbrush itself so this is flow hairbrush now you may be wondering which opacity are you to use well i would just have to say to you use any opacity you feel like all is good but don't just put it in 100 percent but for beginner I would suggest you use it even from uh, 30% up to like 50%. All right, don't let it exceed that range. Now, here is our picture that we want to shade. Uh, let's just imagine it like a moon that the areas are dark and then the middle is light. All right, so what you just have to do is to increase the size and then do exactly what you see me doing right now. Can you see something is changing? okay good now create a new layer this is our base color good now there may be areas that are more darker is that okay then i will still make this luminance a little bit more darker all right then i will put it on the edges remember it's not like the first one all right let's see what i'm seeing can you see the edges of this? So it's it's actually so much different. All right. Now you see that create a new layer now for the highlight. Is that okay? So I'm actually teaching you guys for those that uh, don't want to delete their Autodesk sketchbook and they don't have Copic. So that's the reason why I'm not actually using Copic colors so much. All right. So you can put this now. Another problem for people is what. Uh, layer blendings am i to use for the highlight i tell you some people don't even use any layer blending they just do it like that all right but i will be going with soft glow is that okay now i can give power back to the luminance all right so you may be wondering how do i know the colors like you will know all right just study autodex and i think i'm going to make a tutorial on that soon all right so now, can you see what I just did? Maybe I should delete it. I cleared, and then where it seems it's light, then I put my shades, I mean my lighter color, all right, and I applied it to it. Now, this is what we have. Now, just let me show you something. This is the color. All right, and then we did the first, and yeah, second, and yeah, third. Is that okay? Some people still go as far as still putting more highlights. I mean, by putting it, don't bother to put it on glow because it's going to change some colors. Is that okay? Then they decrease the size, and then they still put it here. Can you see that now? Good. So this is the concept of shades art i'm gonna be teaching you guys you see how clean it is you can check it very very clean good so now after this i'm going to make tutorial on how to effectively use your glow settings and your shades all right then we'll move to practical aspects in shades art thank you guys for watching 
if you think these tutorials are very very useful to you please like this video share it with others and then i will really really want you to subscribe thank you guys for doing that the reason why i want you to subscribe is not just to increase my subscriber count but to assist me in these videos thank you guys for what you've been doing and god bless you